battling squatters and the push for new laws. In the heart of Jacksonville, Florida, 61-year-old Patty Peoples encountered what many homeowners fear, squatters overtaking her investment properties. This distressing experience, costing her over $40,000 and posing personal dangers, sheds light on a growing issue in the United States, a squatter crisis that challenges the very essence of property ownership and legal protections. Peoples' confrontation with squatters began shortly after listing one of her houses for sale, only to find it illicitly occupied within a month. The squatters asserted they had legally rented the property, leading to confrontations that escalated to people's being threatened with arrest under the squatters' claimed rights to privacy. This event highlights a critical problem where squatters exploit legal gaps, often leaving property owners powerless and financially burdened. The ordeal people's faced is not unique, but a representation of a broader systemic issue. The squatters presented a fabricated lease, complicating the situation further, when Peoples sought help, law enforcement classified the matter as civil, not criminal, due to the alleged lease. This response is a common theme in many squatter cases, revealing a disturbing trend where the balance of legal protection seems to favor unauthorized occupants over rightful property owners. The legal battles and frustrations Peoples endured are indicative of a wider squatter crisis in the United States. The law often finds itself in a bind, having to protect the rights of individuals claiming residence, even when such claims are based on fraudulent documents or outright lies. This legal loophole has allowed squatters to occupy properties with little fear of quick legal reprisal, putting enormous pressure and financial strain on property owners. Recognizing the severity of the crisis, Florida legislators took decisive action. A bill was introduced to provide homeowners with stronger protections, including granting police the authority to immediately remove squatters and imposing stricter penalties for property damage or the falsification of legal documents. Governor Ron DeSantis's signature on this bill marks a pivotal moment in the fight against squatters, potentially setting a precedent for other states to follow. While Florida's legislative advance are commendable, the squatter issue is far from resolved nationally. Other states continue to grapple with similar challenges, with cases in Texas, New York, and Los Angeles highlighting the national scope of this dilemma. The variation in state laws contributes to the complexity of addressing squatter issues, often leading to protracted legal battles and, in some instances, violence. The personal toll on those like peoples who have confronted squatters firsthand cannot be understated. These experiences have spurred individuals to become advocates for change, pushing for legislative reforms that better protect property owners across the country. The collective outcry from affected homeowners underscores the urgent need for a unified approach to tackle the squatter crisis effectively. The squatter crisis in the United States poses a significant legal and ethical challenge, highlighting the tension between property rights and housing protections. While Florida's recent legislative efforts provide a beacon of hope, the problem persists across many states. A comprehensive legal and societal approach is necessary to safeguard homeowners' rights and restore confidence in the justice system's ability to protect property ownership from fraudulent occupation. As the squatter crisis continues to unfold across the United States, it's becoming increasingly clear that the issue is more than just a series of isolated incidents. It's a symptom of broader systemic challenges that require thoughtful consideration and action. The journey of Patty Peoples from a victim of squatters to an advocate for homeowners' rights is just one of many stories that highlight the complexities of property law, tenant rights, and the need for legal reform. The squatter problem is intricately linked with the wider housing crisis in America. In cities and states where affordable housing is scarce, the temptation for individuals to occupy vacant properties illegally becomes higher. This situation is exacerbated by legal frameworks that, in trying to protect tenants from unfair evictions, inadvertently make it difficult to remove squatters quickly and efficiently. As such, any conversation about addressing the squatter issue must also take into account the need for affordable, accessible housing solutions. The response of law enforcement agencies to squatter situations, as highlighted by people's experience, points to a need for clearer guidelines and more consistent enforcement. The designation of squatting as a civil matter complicates immediate police action, 
often leaving property owners to navigate the court system, which can be both time-consuming and costly. Enhanced training for law enforcement on handling squatting cases, combined with legislative changes, could help bridge this gap, providing quicker resolutions for property owners. The push for new laws and the advocacy work by individuals like Peoples play a critical role in bringing public attention to the squatter issue. By sharing their stories, affected homeowners can illuminate the emotional and financial toll of squatting, galvanizing public support for change. Advocacy efforts also underscore the importance of community vigilance and the need for neighbors to look out for one another reporting suspicious activities that could indicate squatting. The enactment of tougher laws in Florida is a step in the right direction, but it is only part of the solution. A more holistic approach would involve a combination of legislative reform, improved law enforcement practices, public education, and efforts to address the underlying housing crisis. This multifaceted strategy requires collaboration between lawmakers, law enforcement, housing advocates, and the community. Moreover, the conversation about squatting must also consider the rights and needs of those who find themselves without a home. While protecting property rights is essential, finding humane and constructive solutions for homelessness and housing insecurity is equally important. This balanced approach ensures that efforts to combat squatting do not inadvertently harm the most vulnerable members of society. The battle against squatters and the push for new laws is a complex issue that sits at the intersection of property rights, tenant protections, and the broader housing crisis. While legislative changes like those seen in Florida offer hope, the ongoing challenges in other states highlight the need for a comprehensive and compassionate approach. As individuals like Patty Peoples lead the charge for reform, their stories remind us of the human element behind the legal battles, driving home the urgency of finding effective solutions to protect homeowners and support those in need of housing.